Have you ever met someone on an online dating site and thought, wow, this guy is perfect for me, or she is simply amazing, only to find out they were hiding a deep, dark secret. They plan to vote for Hillary. Freedomlovers.us was created for singles who want to exchange ideas and a love for freedom. People who are looking for solutions to create and defend freedom in the real world and at the same time getting that once in a lifetime chance to find their true soulmate. Whether you are interested in meeting your soulmate, making new friends, networking, or hanging out with that like-minded liberty lover, visit freedomlovers.us. It's the first free dating site and community. So patriots, don't waste your time with other dating sites. Freedomlovers.us is the place where like-minded singles really click. Here we go, guys and girls. You're listening to Love, Guns, and Freedom on K Talks 1340 AM in our United States to the FM Network, Hour About Love. You know, I really like this hour because we have the freedom, still, yes, the freedom to talk about on the air all things that in many other sides of the world, parts of the world, probably wouldn't be allowed. But regardless, there's still some laws on the book. And even in our America, the land of the free, or what's supposed to be the land of the free, that pretty much could punish. Even just probably nobody's going to ever enforce those laws, but on paper, they would somehow punish two or more. I say more because sometimes, you know, you're not going to be just in two. Adults that out of their free will would like to enjoy themselves or some sexual practices. Let me spell it out. And of course, I will be sure that I comply with the FCC. There are some act, sexual acts in the states, at least in some states, that have been illegals in the past, illegal in the past, and they're still illegal in some states. And I find it for me, you know, regardless that I may like him or not, this is not about me, it is not about my per- personal preferences, you know, when it comes down to sex. This is about freedom. For example, the sodomy laws. Okay, wow. People say disgusting. Fine, whatever. You don't need to do it. But the point is, there are still some states that somehow, on their books, they completely make illegal to have sex, anal sex. I can say that on the air. Yes, uh, in uh, some states, even when there are two adults consent with the consent, free will. Nobody's forcing anybody. I believe in my humble opinion, people may say, you look, you are disgusting. I don't care what you think about me, seriously. I really don't. This is, you know, I'm not here to get new friends. I'm here to tell you what I think. If you really believe that you are free, that you have free choice, only God can judge you. No another man, no a judge, no even the mob out there. That means uh, the 51% of the population can tell you how to live your life. There are some states, for example, Alabama, you know, that the uh, Georgia, I mean, Texas, you know, you can find out. I mean, I'm going to go through that, but it is amazing. Some state laws that these sexual acts, they are like against nature and can be punished by the law. That for me, freaky, completely freaky. Seriously, I find no difference between that and the, uh, let's say the moral police of Iran or of the Taliban or other things like that. Seriously. And then it's funny because it's not just about anal sex. It's also about oral sex. For example, there is a, 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 a state like uh, Louisiana that technically is still illegal. And there is another state in Michigan. They pass, at least uh, they try to pass this law that uh, makes oral sex illegal. Are you kidding me? I would break the law just for the point, just for the cause of freedom. Of course, I'll leave it like that. Okay. Now, I want to hear your feedback. I'd like to know what uh, you think about it. And I'm trying, to, of course, to find the both sides. And let me find, first of all, one side. Rick from Ohio. Let's see what he has to say. Rick, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Rick. Thank you very much for calling in. Um, tell me what you think about that. Do you support this uh, anti-sodomy uh, uh, law or anti-oral sex law? You think it should be the right thing to do, the state to tell you what type of sexual acts you can do or cannot do? No. There is no reason that the government could tell you anything what you can do. We were born into this earth just as they were. They, the only thing that you go on is your faith. And 
between two people, even uh, General, uh, our new general, Mattis, Mad Dog, he said he don't care what two consenting adults, when they go to bed, what they do. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's your, it's your belief, and it's your freedom, and the government has nothing to do with that. Okay. But what do you think when, let's say, you're in this state, like one state could be, I don't know, in this case, state of Texas, okay? Even technically there is a, a, a Supreme Court case that uh, completely makes this illegal. But still, they try to enforce the law. At least they would like to enforce the law. And you know that you're breaking the law. And some people, they really like to follow every law. I mean, what do you think about that? Would you break the law or not? Again, uh, the thing is, who, even the state, who gives them the right to tell you what you could do? I agree. But some people, they say, okay, it's the law. You know? No, it's man's law. Okay. I agree with you, by the way. Don't get me wrong. You know, I'm with you. I'm just trying to, to see a little bit, you know, be the, the state advocate, not even the devil's advocate. This, because pretty much for me, the state is like the devil in this case, you know? Seriously. I know. I understand. I know. I understand that. But the thing is, you know, it's still man's law. Mm -hmm. well, now, man. who are they? They are not God. Yep. Now, it's your belief, whatever religion or faith mm -hmm. or spirituality you have that you believe in, mm -hmm. they have no right. They have no right to come because we have a constitution in the United States and you cannot be discriminated. Okay. Agated against for freedom of religion. Oh, but they got so, away. They got away for many years. I mean, in the past, uh, people really went. Oh, to yeah, yeah. It is sad, you know. This is uh, seriously. Now the Pope, and now the Pope says, "Well, uh, Allah is God. Oh, Who's yeah. God? Yeah. He wasn't a God. I agree. Or Muhammad. Please don't get me wrong about he, the Pope, because I, let me tell you something. Let me tell you about the Pope. This Pope, it, and this is coming from a former Catholic. Okay, and I say he, former. He's world order. This exactly. You just you the, the smart guy. You know the words, the magic word. This this guy is is the devil for the All new world order. That's he, it. He changed his position now because he's going to lose his power. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what's going on. That's exactly what's going on with the Democrats and the media and everything else. They are losing their power. I watched the guy sit there and say that he was going to go against Trump if he had to use a, a two-by-four to hit him in the head because he worked for all this power, and that's what they've done mm -hmm. forever. The NWO has worked for this since before Hitler. Yeah. Now the alliance... And I don't know if you heard about it. I don't know if you heard about the alliance, but the alliance has come together against the new world order, and they are taking them down. Yes. The last thing that uh, this is the last thing. I mean, before it was conspiracy theory. Every all truth was a conspiracy theory, and that came up uh, in 1967. Uh, CIA brought coined that phrase to change the narrative. Now that didn't work. People caught on to it, and after that, now it's fake news. Yes, let That's me go back. Let me, let me go back to the anti sodomite and BJ's laws. Listen, I appreciate your feedback, and I'm glad that you are your friend of mine on Facebook. You know, you seem like to be an intelligent guy that you know what's going on and we need to wake up more and more fellow Americans and people from around the world because this, this fight it is not just in America. It's a global fight against tyranny, against the new world order. You said the magic words. Thank you very much. Yes. The best for you, to you and your family in Hawaii, okay? Yes. Thank you. All right, um, more calls. When I get more calls now, I would like to have maybe a lady. Let's see, a nice lady who can tell us what she thinks about these anti-sodomite or sodomite uh, laws and anti-oral sex laws. Are they right? Any state who's tried to enforce this law or even just to pass this law, you think is doing the right thing or maybe not? I want to hear your opinion. Little break. Don't go away. Hey, you. 
Yes, I'm talking to you. You deserve a break. Enjoy a moment of indulgence. It's time for Zana Coffee. Guilt-free pleasure. Zana Coffee is the organic coffee to amplify your senses and enhance love for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Only the best organic and GMO-free coffee beans from around the world that I selected. Zanna Coffee brings you happiness in every cup. Fair trade certified sustainable organic coffee. That means we do not use slaves. Free Zanna songs with every coffee bag. Find Zanna Coffee at www.zannacoffee.com www.zannacoffee.com Get your coffee back now. Don't be cheap. Life is too short and you deserve the best. Zana Coffee. All right. As I said, uh, now I'm going to bring you the other side of uh, the coin or maybe the other side of the opinion. Uh, we are talking about here on Love, Guns and Freedom. This is Luca Zana, the final hour, the hour about law. It's not law, excuse me, about love. <laughs> Anyway, about the concept that uh, in some states, anal sex is against the law. Believe it or not, it's still on the book. There are laws still on the book in some states. And uh, this is not about to be try to be sensationalist and uh, try to create some sort of drama. No, it is really a serious topic for me. Because people may say, you know what, nobody's going to enforce the law. Probably not. Maybe not today in 2017. But the fact that this law has been on the book for many years and in some states is still there on the book, even when the Supreme Court found it somehow unconstitutional, I think it's kind of interesting, in my opinion, disturbing. I mean, I'll tell you more about what I think about it, but, you know, I already told you, I guess. I'll tell you again. But regardless, now, it's not about me. It's about not even about my opinions or my sexual practices or whatever. It's not even about that. It's about personal freedom does the government has that type of power to tell us what can we do in our bedroom that's the bottom line even if it's against some basic uh, let's say uh, god's law if you believe in god but maybe not everybody believes in god maybe they believe in other gods after all we still have freedom of speech and freedom of religion so that's my point so i'm glad that now finally i have a great lady she's also a great friend a facebook friend of mine we agree on many things, most of the things, and sometimes if we have something we disagree, that's great. That's why I want you on the show. That's why I, say I really appreciate you coming on. Anyway, her name is Gaynell. I think she's from Louisiana. By the way, there is also a law there in Louisiana, according to what I found, that oral sex is against the law. Gaynell, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you for being on the show, first of all. Thank you. Now, what is your position on anti-sodomite laws like for example in the state of texas you know uh, if you go having anal sex not just between men and men but also you know men and women or men and more women who knows it's against the law technically you could have been put in jail do you support this or not i am fabulously appreciative of it being against the law i have i have no desire for such things. It's okay. Okay, so let me clarify. You support the law of uh, uh, the would punish, uh, uh, let's say, practical, sexual practices like uh, anal sex. You support that law, correct? I support the law of um, being against the anal sex okay. and such. Okay, great. And as I said, this is not about, uh, as I said, personal uh, preference. It's not even about me thinking. It's about just the general concept. Now, right. question I have for you, okay? Let's say somebody in Texas or in other states, in their privacy of their environment, could be a house, could be a hotel, whatever they want. You know, they're not going to do it on your face, okay? It's not like on the street they're going to start to do things like that because that would be already a law that punishes no matter what type of public sexual act because this disturbs the peace and also infringes on other people's rights. I'm talking about, let's say, me, another woman, whatever, or more than one woman, we decide to have that type of sex. Why should we be punished? What does really infringe in your rights? Why you think the state should intervene and say, you, Mr. Zanna, how dare you? 
now we caught you and we can prosecute you and you can go to jail. Why should be that applied to me when I'm not infringing on anybody else's right? I'm not doing it at your house. And after all, we are me and another or two more or whatever people that we are over 18 and we are in the complete consent of our rights or our desires. Why you want that law to apply to our right to be happy or whatever we want to do? Personally, um, the law can be, as you stated it, and it can also be good in a mannerism as far as what I would think. Um, for personal reasons, I guess, for... Um, Hello? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, yeah, come on. Give me a nice answer, okay? I gave you a specific question. You said that you support this anti-sodomite uh, uh, law. That means, uh, you know, according to the law, if I do anal sex with another person, man or woman, depends on the state, I could go to jail, okay? Even there is a Supreme Court case, the law is still on the book. You support the law. Now, my question is, why? What difference does it make in your life? What type of uh, infringement, infringement on your rights we are doing? Or not me in general, but a person who's having anal sex in their own home, why should go to jail? After all, they're not asking you to do it with them or they're not imposing their sexual practice with you. They just mind their business and they're having fun or whatever they think they're good. If it's fun, I don't know, but it's their business. Why you want to uh, uh, pass a law or support a law that technically would make him a criminal? I, guess I would suppose out of moral decency is how I would put it. Um, irregardless, there is right and wrong. Um, Okay. What? So the point is, let me let me understand. You're making the moral the point, you know, morality, correct? Correct. Okay. Now, morality should never be legislated unless uh, there is an act that could infringe on other people's rights. For example, I cannot go on the street in the middle of a public and start to French kiss or you know put my hands on some woman butt while we having a, a big French kiss. I don't care if it's a straight or upside down, gay, lesbian. I think that's something that is infringing on, on the other people, right? That's one thing. But in my own home, in my own hotel, in my own privacy or my space, where I don't have to share the same morality that you do, otherwise we become like the, you know, the Taliban, like the uh, police. <laughs> oh, it's true. I mean, there is a, in, in Iran, it's called the moral police. The religious police, if you do anal sex in Iran, you go to jail. Seriously, what's the difference? We're supposed to be the land of the free, home of the brave, and at that point, land of the free means that I have free choice to use my body with another adult in the way we like it. And morality can be good for you, maybe it's not good for me, maybe we have different standards, maybe you know, your religion, I understand, could be something that is very bad. But we are not under a theocracy. I mean, after all, religious is something personal. And even Christ, in my opinion, I'm a Christian, okay? Believe it or not, I know right. I, I sound like kind of a libertine guy, but I am making this from a philosophical point of view. Even Christ said, you know, you have to choose. We have freedom of choice. Otherwise, we would be slave, and everybody goes to heaven anyway. No, you can choose. So I, I mean, I have your, I understand your point, and... Um, I stand together with you in your point, if you want to say, but um, I'm just throwing in there the limits I feel that are... Uh, <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> it's, 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 it's sex, okay? We're not in the battle. Yes. Maybe, I don't know, sometimes in some bedroom can be a battlefield, but it's still just sex. People may call so love, okay? I mean, it's yeah. not, not that because, as I said, what is our standard or your standard for moral? Somebody else is a different standard, okay? For it's, example. It's not, it's not about religion. It's, it's about um, 
I don't know, I want to call it moral decency. Okay, um, moral decency. But my point is, is it doing at your home? Is it doing in front of you? Is it forcing no, it to join up? <laughs> no. 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 So why should it be punished? Hey, if somebody I want to do, I mean, after all, if the state can tell me what can I do in the privacy of my home, what food I can eat, what type of drink I can have, and what type of sex I can do, I'm just a little slave. I mean, I can tell to my dog, don't screw another dog, okay? I am the master. But that's a dog, okay? I mean, if, I, if you're a free human, you should have the freedom to do pretty much whatever you want to your body. The only thing I ask, of course, if you get sick, be ready to pay for your medical bills. That's all I ask. All right, uh, question. What do you think about the anti-oral uh, sex uh, law that uh, is uh, technically, I read just now, is still in act in Louisiana, your home, home state. Do you support that? I had no idea of it, <laughs> but I've not checked into such things. Okay, I tell you right now, trust me, I, I find the law. If you want, I can read also the, the which law it is exactly. I know that nobody probably ever uh, enforced it lately, but technically there is a law that says Oral this sex. This is the first, I hear, the first time I hear of it, I know, actually. But you have to wait for the Italian guy to find this law, okay? You can find it, like, easy, just, you know, I, I dig this stuff. <laughs> I'm pretty, seriously, you know, I study this matter. This is my, uh, you know, profession. I study love. You know, the show is called Love, Guns, and Freedom, after all, okay? So, anyway. Well, I do. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, I do. I, I study into laws and such, too, but, I mean... I've not gone that far into those particular topics. topics. I know. <laughs> but, you know, somebody has to do it. It's a tough job, and that's my job, okay? Now, right. regardless that, uh, you know, you found it or not, you know, trust me, there is a law that technically oral sex is against the law. Do you support this law like you support the anti-sodomite law? Do you or not? Uh, we can get away with the, yeah, excuse me, with the, with the oral sex. <laughs> I was almost sleeping. Uh, can we do that according to your morals? According to my morals, um, <laughs> I, I would I would think so. It's not it's not. <laughs> so that's okay, but anal sex is not okay. I mean, it's kind of a, a slippery slope road, you know. When you open the door, who are you to decide? what people can do or not. I mean, I can tell you the other side. You know, if I was a very moralistic person, I would say, way not. You know, after all, sex is only for procreation. How dare you to support oral sex? You're supposed to burn with the witches on the fire. I'm just trying to play devil's advocate, okay? Uh, think, <laughs> of, uh, think about it. I mean, I would break the law, by the way, immediately, just for the cause, okay? For the cause of freedom, I should pretty much say, this law must be broken, we all need to get arrested. And now, I'm not saying to do a public event about it, but at least we should all open the, the windows of our homes with the light on and the windows open and tell them, we are breaking the law right now, okay? But regardless, I'm just curious to see why you think, okay, oral sex, is not punishable by the law, even there is a law in Louisiana that says no, but uh, anal sex, you're supposed to punish it. At least you support the law that punishes it. Why? It, it, it's, it's a difference. It seems different. It's not. Um, um, Why is different? I don't know. It just sounds more disgusting. <laughs> more it's disgusting. Like so you think oral sex is disgusting too? No, but I, but I think the opposite is. Um, well, you said, you know, I'm trying to read between the lines. You said more disgusting. You didn't say disgusting. So, uh, anal sex is more disgusting than oral sex. It is disgusting, the anal thing, whatever. Okay, okay that's, <laughs> fine. I, that's fine. I'm not saying yes or no. I'm just saying you said, though, that anal is more disgusting than oral. So, the point you find probably oral a little bit disgusting. Do you? You don't have to answer. You can plead your fifth, okay? You're on the show. Don't worry. You can always say, pass. <laughs> I plead my fifth. But I'm just trying Play to ask you a question. Lollipop. Okay. All right. Lollipop. All right. Listen. 
Is it just listening? What I'm, why I'm doing this? And by the way, the listeners out there, I want to be sure it's clear. I'm not trying to uh, create the drama or this topic. Oh my gosh, out there. You First of all, there are two things why I really want to talk about this in a very serious manner. First of all, we are free to talk about on the show of subjects and things that normally are topics in many other stations, not just around the world, but also around the country, you will not be allowed to talk, especially on the airwaves. This is not satellite. This is AM station, okay? So I'm proud to say on K Talks, we still have freedom of speech. One. Number two. It may sound stupid for many people out there. Say, how dare you talking about this thing? We have more serious problems. No, this is the foundation of freedom. Who wants your body? You or the government? That's pretty much the, 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 the bottom line, you know? If the government can get away, tell us what we can eat, what we can drink, and also say, you gotta put a seatbelt on, slave, because we say so, and then guess what? They can also tell you, you know, okay, you can have anal sex or you can have BJs or not. Guess what? Screw you, government. And everybody, okay. and, I, and I'm not saying this is because it's my personal or not. This is I'm not gonna share my personal beliefs or my personal taste in sex. It's my personal life. But I'm telling you in general, as principle, government and the majority of people, the 51% of the people, should never able to vote on morality, especially when we do not or people do not infringe on other people's rights. That's the condition. So you know, if I got you, it's about. Let's say, for example, you know, I like to eat, um, I don't know, something very bad. I like to eat uh, r dirt from the from the ground. Terrible thing. Dirt. Okay? I hate it. I never would eat dirt. But some people like to eat dirt. Hey, it's their body. It's their life. What should I tell them? No eat dirt? Why should I tell them that? They're not trying to push dirt in my mouth. The same story with sex. You don't like anal <laughs> sex? I understand. You find it disgusting? I understand. I may also agree with you. That's not the point. The point is, I have no business to tell other people what to do in their life. And people can say, by the way, that's against God's law. You know yeah. what? Maybe that's your God. Maybe people... Uh, may I'm not, I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say God wants us to speak up and speak out on those such things. <laughs> that's fine. You can speak up. You can share your opinion. Nobody said that you have to be silent. But also people say, you know what? They can also change channel. But one thing is... Uh, Sh telling them what you think one thing is legislating against them and to punish him and to make him criminal i mean we can have an exchange of ideas yeah you know what i think you're going to hell fine whatever people can tell you who cares none of my business to tell me what you know i should do but my point well, is that stands to um stand pertaining to that baloney of these women that want to get out here and literally uncover themselves completely all out in the middle of the general public or wherever else and be breastfeeding their kid. I'm no, afraid no. not. Different thing, different thing. I never condone that. I don't. I didn't say let's do it in public or let's, let's say infringe on other people's rights. My condition is very specific. I have two conditions. Everybody is over 18 and everybody is consentient. I mean, we have free will. Nobody is forced to do anything. And then, second condition, we all respect uh, the privacy and the decor of others. And this is not just for the, you know, the, the gay people, also for the straight people. I mean, honestly, sometimes I go in bars or places like that, I don't really want to see uh, the couple start to French kissing in front of me. I find it kind of offensive if you want to. If you want to go rent a hotel, like go somewhere, okay? You don't need to right. be in front. I mean, and this is not just for the uh, gay, lesbian, so it's also for the straight, everybody. I think we should have all the right to be left alone and also all the right to respect each other. You know, that's the bottom line. But I find it still very, uh, almost amazing, you know, in 2017. And, you know, you're not the only one, by the way. I'm not trying to get on you. No, I appreciate you being on the show and sharing your true opinion. But I think, you know, in America, we're supposed to be free. And I still have a lot of people that would pretty much pass a law to outlaw my personal preferences, sexual preferences. I think that's, you know, as I said, our standard of moral can be very different. Whatever is good for you may not be good for me. I mean, I have a lot of friends that they are atheists, and I respect them. I'm Christian. I'm not going to tell them what to do. They do what they want. And the same way with me. You know, they know what I believe, and we get along. You know, at that point, I don't invite them at church, and they don't invite me at their party. You know, we, we do our things. But at the same time, we respect each other. 
and I'm gonna tell you what to believe, you know. My beliefs may be different from them, you know. So that's my point. Anyway, listen, I want to thank you. I want to give you the floor. Uh, anything you want to add about the show, about uh, me as a crazy host, and even about the topic. You want to close? I give, you, I give you the floor. You close. I think you're absolutely fabulous and love your show. And I, and I got your point. Your point is about freedom which and liberty, which, you know, I agree with that. Um, just never thought of it in that particular direction is how I want to say. I never checked into such laws, never thought about them, never... Um, Never researched it, you know. But uh, yeah, you, you're you're fabulous. Your show is fabulous. Um, Thank you. And I'm glad that at least we have a conversation because this is a beautiful thing. We can talk on this show, and I'm not trying to tell you I'm right or you're wrong. I'm just trying to use my logic, tell you really if we have you know the concept. We I mean I know that most of my listeners on my show believe in freedom. You know, may have little differences sometimes on some issue. By the end of the day, we want to be free. And that's why I want to bring topics like that, because it's at the end of the day, there is one part of real estate that no government, even if you're rich or if you're poor, we all have the same. And no government can take away from us. It is our body. If we cannot control our body, if we are not in control of our body, you know, we are slaves. That's the reality. And people can say, you know what, only God can, can be the owner of my body. And I respect that, but government is not God. Okay, If your God tells you you should not have a tattoo, that's fine. It's your belief. If government tells you you should not have oral sex, that's fine. It's your belief. But there is must never be a law that your God must impose the law, your beliefs, to the rest of us. Otherwise, we will be in a monotheistic society like Iran, like Afghanistan with the Taliban or whatever they are, or many other parts, like for example, you know, other countries around the world, there are. I mean, I was, uh, you know, seriously, I would be scared to go to places like Egypt or any places like that where technically, if you break one of the moral law, let's say I go with a woman and, and we do something, even like uh, oral sex, I could be put in jail, period, okay? And maybe even killed. So that's the thing. We are in America. All right, darling. Thank you very much. And I'll send you the link of this uh, uh, oral sex law in Louisiana. Okay, watch it. Okay. All right. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I, I appreciate you, Gay. By the way, thank you for being my friend on Facebook. You're a great lady. I appreciate you very much. Okay. You too. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That was Gay Nail from uh, Louisiana. And I tell you, I want to give a thank you very much because it is not an easy topic. I mean, for a guy could be all right maybe, but it's a woman, a lady, to talk about this on the air. I respect her a lot. Thank you. And, you know, we're having a good conversation on top. And I think maybe my point, I hope, came across. As I said, I'm not yet to convince you. I'm just trying to tell you, use logic, and then you do what you want, okay? All right, guys, you're listening to Love, Guns, and Freedom with Luca Zana. This is an interesting show. I really appreciate uh, the opportunity to be here. We have more news, more about love. I may even sing a serenade. I'm in the mood today. Let me go to get Zana coffee because I'm getting kind of a little tired. Uh, and then we'll continue. We are almost at the end, the final hour today's show, Love, Guns, and Freedom. Don't go away. La, 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 la. It is that time again. 1776, the organic coffee to brew a revolution. Brought you by Zanna Coffee. 1776 is the best organic and GMO-free coffee beans blend from around the world to amplify your senses and enhance love for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Zanna Coffee brings you happiness in every cup. Fair Trade Certified Sustainable Organic Coffee. Free Zanna songs with every coffee bag. Get 1776 at www.zannacoffee.com. Don't be cheap. Life is too short. 1776.